Hello watchers and dear subscribers, this is again Shrek from SmartHerd. Welcome to my app development tutorial number 9. From the last few tutorials, we learned how to run an application, how to create an application and how to set up an emulator and run your Hello World application in your emulator. Now it's time to move forward and let's check out what this manifest file stands for. Now this manifest file guys is actually an XML file that is written in a markup language like your activity main.xml is written. Now this Android manifest file helps you to know what all components you have declared in your application. So in short you can say it is a summary of your application. Now suppose your application requires internet connection or your application is based on the camera or you need to read or write data in your phone memory or you want to read the contacts of the phone memory. So in that case it requires permission. You have to define a permission in your manifest. Yay, my app requires to read data from the contact or my app requires to open the camera, right? In such way you have to use the permission, right? Now so far we have seen the activities in Android. Now there are other components guys such as services, content provider and also broadcast receiver. Now these things services, content provider and broadcast receivers I will talk about it in the downline tutorial. So don't bother about it much guys. Just you just have to know activities as of now. Now your application is compatible with what devices? that declares the API level. Yay, my application requires the API level 8 and the maximum API level 19 which shows my app is made for API level 8 that is 2.24 but it can run on the KitKat API level 19 too. So all these stuffs just shows the manifest file is the summary of your application. As I told you initially that later on you can change your package name or your app name that appears in the Play Store all those stuffs you can do in the manifest file itself. Right now let's check out the codes what manifest file.xml bears. This is actually the codes of the manifest file. Now first is the schema that you have to define. It is also auto generated. You don't have to write it. This is the package name that you defined initially while making the application. Now this tag uses SDK Android minimum SDK version 8. So this app is targeted to the minimum API level 8 that is 2.2 Froyo but your app is also compatible with the API level 19 that is KitKat 4.4. So in between the 8 and 19 all the devices can run your application. This provides the flexibility to your application. Now guys these stuffs icon, label, theme are of very less significance. This icon is actually the app icon that appears in your smartphone and this is a theme that I talked about in the style.xml. You can change your app theme from there. Now this activity from here to here declares the components or the intents that your main activity dot java contains. Now this intent filter actually defines the action and category tag. As of now just know about the intent. Intents are used to invoke any activity. Now you can invoke your main activity dot java by using this action name android intent dot action dot main and it falls under the category launcher that is when you open your application then the first screen that appears in your phone is this main activity dot java. Now if you define another activity so in that case you have to define the category like this android intent category dot default which I am going to show you when I will go for the complex application development. So pretty simple guys hope you guys understood what you saw. Please subscribe to my channel this is Shrek's from Smart Herd. signing off and do leave a comment below my video. Thank you.